Hey guys, it's Mel here with Tech From My Perspective and today I am going to be reviewing the TP-Link AV600 Powerline Starter Kit and I would like to thank uh, TP-Link for sending this out, wouldn't be possible without them so let's get into the review so instantly you can see that at the back is the box and in front of them are the two power lines which you require to uh, use them properly and basically what you usually do is plug one power line near the um, location of your router and another one near the uh, location of where your internet is weak and then you can get uh, near router ethernet performance uh, in the location where internet is weak uh, this is a non Wi-Fi power line which is unfortunate and this is the version of the AV600 where there's only one ethernet port at the bottom which is also unfortunate but I guess that will do and uh, later on you will see a video of me showing you how to set it up and I have used this a few times and the performance is good although it really doesn't help me as I've got good internet nearly everywhere in the house and even if I don't consider something as good internet it will be at least 30 megabytes per second on download speed as I've beat infinity but if you're someone else that I don't know lives in a castle or something then you might want to consider buying this power line because it is a pretty good power line and uh, on the screen right now I will show you the uh, speed of the power line when it is plugged in. This is the performance of my MacBook Pro's uh, Ethernet with the power line shown right now on the screen. And now I am going to show you what it was like with Wi Fi straight after I stopped using the power line on the screen too, as well. So you can just look at both of them and see that there isn't much of a difference in terms of speed and especially not in the upload download there's maybe one megabytes per second but that really won't make much of a difference seeing both of them are at least 50 mbps and that is just amazing totally what i'd expect from my bt infinity but yeah uh so i'm going to actually talk about design of this so it's like a normal uh, multi-plug actually it's quite bulky and i think i would expect for it to be bulky because of the amount of technology that goes into this and um, it's just plain white it's got the TP-Link uh, logo at the top 600 Mbps so that is the speed it can go up to which is quite good for a what is essentially a wire, uh, internet extender uh, the LEDs for power and so on uh, bottom has one ethernet port and uh, here it just has other things like the model, the MAC address, password, blah blah and uh, the other one is also the same uh, if it could be less bulky then that would have been great but I don't think it can be less bulky however it does look nice I guess for a plug and works quite well and uh, now I'm actually going to leave you with the setup of the video, the setup of the power line, and I recorded this before I recorded this first part of the video. So I'll see you afterwards. This is how to set up the power line, the TP Link AV600, which has a speed of up to 600 Mbps. So what you want to do is get one of the power lines and plug it into the mains. Do not use a multi-plug as it could uh, limit your speed and potentially stop it from working. Not uh, permanently of course, but stop it from working if you're using it in multi-plug. And what you want to do is, before you turn it on, you once you've plugged it in, you want to get an Ethernet cable once provided after two and plug that into your uh, router modem uh, like I have to my BT Infinity hub as you can see there it is at the back and I'm not sure if you could have seen that but uh, it is plugged in but you can also see here that there is the Ethernet cable going up once you have done that you want to flick a switch on like I have and right now it's working power line but after you flicked it on click the pair 
uh, press the pair button at the bottom of the power line and then uh, light to left will start flashing within two minutes you want to link the other power line so I'm going to show you the other power line so I am at the other power line and uh, within the two minutes you just want to plug this in and plug it into your laptop or computer like I have here MacBook Pro and uh, what you want to do is basically uh, you just want to plug it in and once you have plugged it in you would uh, want to press the pair button at the bottom so like you did with the first power line and then off you have pressed the power line button for pairing it will uh, stop blinking and it will be like this to indicate that it's working power's on uh, and then the internet is also on and I will show you that it is actually working because as you can see here one second as you can see here when I turn to take this down so here I have my MacBook Pro and uh, if I go up then you can see that Wi-Fi is turned off and there's the Ethernet cable plugged in right here and there if you didn't see it and then if I just go on to something like uh, my channel so my channel then you will see the internet's working perfectly fine. I can stream a video. Let's go into my Arcos review. And so on. And if you just want to uh, stop using it, then you can merely take out the Ethernet cable and switch back to Wi Fi. I have found that this speed doesn't make much of a difference as I already get the max speed I can with Wi Fi. However, if you are in a poor uh, part of your house, then the power line will quite benefit you although it doesn't benefit me because I had to unplug my PC to get the power line in as the other plug is taken up by uh, BT's infinity stuff so yeah and I'm going to get back to the last part of the video I'm back guys and you just saw how to set up the uh, TP-Link AV600 power line. I am sure that is also how you set up the AV500 same way and uh, There isn't much else to say except for in the box you did get the two power lines a, C a CD and Two Ethernet cables both at least a meter long. So that was actually very generous uh, given to uh, Ethernet cables and very handy because you don't have to wait and buy another other ones and it's all what everything you need is just in the box which I like from TP Link is as if they want to give you the best out of their products and uh, you'll be able to see that here it says TP Link reliable choice and I really think they are a reliable choice uh, overall I am impressed with the uh, power line however I do think feel that it is not for someone like me because I actually uh, have good internet most of the time Unless BT is doing some sort of maintenance where it's gone down 5 Mbps sort of speed. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe and like the video. This is Mel here with Tech From The Perspective, reviewing the TP-Link AV600 Gigabit Powerline uh, Starter Kit Adapter. And I'm out. Peace!